All right, well, welcome to Hobby Crafts with Nelson. <laughs> oh, fuck, I slay myself. <clears throat> All right, so what are you staring at? Well, it's this oddly shaped little thing that I'm going to cut out of this very warped plywood. Actually, maybe I won't. But anyway, here's kind of what I was thinking. Alright. That's what I need. That's where it needs to stop. This isn't straight. All right, I think we can settle on that shape and cut it out and then go try it on the guitar. Anyway, I'll catch up to speed. Can you even see that? Is that even in the drawing? Can you see what I've drawn? This shape? Anyway, I've been trying this on and off the guitar. I had a, a black Strat pickguard. You can see the single coil all like covered up with some bullshit. And just to get my shape, trying it on and off the guitar, I made some paper templates there to start. You can see. And then, the, I think, rather brilliant part of this plan is I can then cut it out of this $9 delivered to my door blank Stratocaster pickguard, which is three ply. And you can order them in five ply, single ply, and I ordered that from Amazon, so I reckon if I got one kind of in here, uh, I still have from there, I could still probably totally cut out another one. Yeah, I could, absolutely. Yeah, I could still totally get, I could get two out of these. So I could have two attempts which is pretty good. I'm going to go into the garage and cut this out with a scroll saw and see how it fits on the guitar. Alright, welcome to Woodworking on a Wednesday with Nelson. All right, I don't know how good the light is there, but let me this one out of wood here. I think I like that much better. Here we go. 
now just lots of sanding and filming over there. Anyway, she's done. Nice little bit of double-sided tape. She's on there. Love it. Finishing editing the video, and I thought I should, <clears throat> I thought I should end the video here, <laughs> rather than where I'd normally end it, which is playing a little lick. But I just wanted to, uh, I just wanted to answer probably a few questions I know I'm going to get. First of which are about how I actually made these templates to begin with, and the re, and the 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 way I actually did this was I printed up. I went online and I printed up what would be like a special, uh, a pick art for a special, but a special normally has this whole other extended bit that comes over the top and the pickups I think are closer together because none of these measurements lined up. And at first I was keen to have the one that came all the way up around the top, but then I kind of decided against it. So nothing really exists for this 2015 guitar because also the controls are in different places. Normally you see a special with four controls and the toggle switch either here or here. Um, so really it was just a case of, you know, some paper, cardboard. I, for, I was certain I wanted to go with this shape. And if you follow my Instagram you would have seen this, all these different attempts. Uh, so sometimes I feel like people know what I've done just because like, I post all this stuff on Instagram. But anyway, that's essentially how I did it. I cut it out of paper, and then I had uh, uh, an old Strat pickguard that I thought, oh, I'll make this my first attempt to see just, you know, cutting out the actual pickguard material and getting it all squared away. And I settled on the half pickguard. But some of my proportions were a little off, like I didn't want this little curve here. And then this was, this was a little too far out, so I, I have a more gentle curve that comes around here. So I'm pretty pleased with my shape overall. And it fits great. <laughs> like, it's... I couldn't have asked for a better fit. Like, that is hella flush. <laughs> And I think it looks fucking great on the guitar. The guitar just, to me, visually felt like it needed something. Um, and I've and I've felt like that since I got this guitar. So I'm pretty pleased with it. And the thing I'm most pleased with, obviously, the point that I really would like to drive home with this video is that when I was looking at the sheets of this stuff, it was a bit prohibitively expensive because it was like 30 or 40 bucks plus shipping. And then it was like, well, do I really want to do this? Is there an easier way that I could do this? And that's when I got the idea to go on to Amazon and see if I could find a blank strat pick guard, which was super easy. They're like nine bucks delivered to my door. And I was like, oh yeah, hell yeah, that's, the, that's exactly what I'm doing. So anyway, I hope that answers some questions. In the filming of me installing this, I fucking totally had the camera pointed in a different place. For the time being, I'm using this. I've put it into this container to make it easier to use, but it's double-sided tape. It's not going to hurt the finish, but it's going to stay there until I don't want it to stay there. And I'm not sure... I'm not sure right now if I want to start drilling in the holes in the guitar just for this pickguard. 
but I can tell you right now that visually it's messing with my OCD the same way this guitar that was missing a pick guard was messing with it. I really want to see a screw here, 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 and two there. And one of my ideas was to drill these holes out of the pick guard and fake in some screw heads, like just cut them off so that they don't actually go into the guitar and then just glue them into the top, but I think that's getting a little crazy. I don't know. I might try it. I still have enough pick guard material left over, which is, which is fantastic. Like, I could still totally cut out another one of those. And it's got the plastic on it. It's got two layers of plastic on it, actually. So yeah, I'm really, 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 really thought like that because you can't buy that. That's not something you can buy. And I and and if if you'll indulge me, half of the reason I learned to make stuff or do stuff like this is because I actually want the thing. Like I actually just want that. And if I could just buy it, I probably wouldn't have made it. If it was like cheap to buy that, I probably never would have thought to make it. But so. Out of necessity comes, <laughs> I'm really, I can't tell you how pleased I am to have cut out a little piece of plastic. It's first time I've tried it, and I think it worked out great. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. See y'all on the next one. We have an interesting update to the Midtown story. See y'all then.